The new rule in we have new reaction today to the new rule in Miami-Dade schools when it comes to participating in Black History Month. And Local 10's Hatzel alive now with what he has learned since he first broke this story on Monday. Hatzel. So, Calvin, on Monday, we did focus on just the policy itself. But since our reporting, we're now focusing on the questions surrounding the policy. Some are calling ambiguous. You're done. At Miami-Dade schools, parents now required to sign permission slips any time outsiders come into the school, including folks there for educational events like Black History Month. This mom told us it happened at iPrep Academy, and she and other parents are outraged. Two days after our story aired, school board members now asking questions from staff. Our schools do not require permission slips for the instruction of African American history. But the concern is over the implementation of the new Board of Education state rule and the impact it is having on classroom instruction. This is more than just about black history. This is about equal access to the fullness of what education represents. School board member Steve Gallen brought up the issue today, asking what happens when a Holocaust survivor comes to the classroom. Even though that, that is related to the curriculum, uh, that's... It, you'd still have to have a form for that. Gallen is concerned about the unintended consequences this may have on children whose parents chose not to have them attend. The local policy went into effect last year on November 23rd, and already staff says they're hearing from schools how this permission slip issue may be affecting visits from college and military recruiters. Now, there's an additional barrier put in to uh, the experiences that were frankly very important to me. This is the second time the issue comes up. Isn't black history part of general curriculum? On Tuesday, several audit and budget committee members also had questions. The concept and the idea that putting students in an auditorium for a black history presentation requires a permission slip is gone far afield of what makes sense in America today. And so given all the questions regarding this policy, the biggest takeaway tonight is that now the district is seeking some clarity from the state as to how to move forward. For now, reporting live from Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.